Hey, welcome out everyone to another Backstage Pass on our new series, All Access. And today, we've got the one, the only, John Cena. Welcome out everybody. That's right, John Cena, we're super glad to have you with us today. And I've got a handful of questions that we're going to ask, and um, they're from some of your loyal fans. Are you ready for this? Yes, and i got a lot of fans, though. So. You do have a lot of fans, mm -hmm. and, and they obviously see you here. They sure do. All right, there we go. Hey, first question is, is from uh, Micah. He's one of our professional media graphic designers, and this is what he wanted to know. He said, when did you first decide you wanted to be a professional wrestler? Well, the, the first time I ever even noticed what wrestling was, I mean, I just loved it. So Awesome. It was just great. Yeah, and can you remember some of your first influences that of you watching? Maybe you were a little John Cena, and uh, you had a little meme made of yourself, and who were you watching when you were a kid? I watched Hulk Hogan. Oh, that's and nice. And Ric Flair. Yeah. Hey, Woo! Oh, that's beautiful, John Cena. Can I get one more of that, that little woo right there in the, to our audience? Woo! Oh, that is really good right there. <laughs> hey, got a question for you. Is wrestling real or fake? Okay, I guess that, that, that answer is that. It's definitely, it's definitely real. And uh, just when you're growing up, who you, would you just would you share with us some of your favorite um, wrestlers growing up? Well, I um, I like Hulk Hogan and I like Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. Did you remember seeing Andre the Giant in WrestleMania four? Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, it was a special night. I was a little kid and I remember staying up late and watching Hulk Hogan pick up Andre the Giant, and slam, and slam him, him on down, got a lot of money. It was amazing. It was really really cool. And uh, let me ask you this. Who had the greatest influence on your life? Probably Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Why do you say that? Because he was a show-off. That was my favorite part of the business. Do you have maybe an imitation of Hulk Hogan that you can do right now? I don't. All right. No, I still got that Ric Flair in me. You got the Ric Flair, but I know, let me tell you something, brother. That was kind of like the, the Hulk Hogan at oh, the yeah. time. Eat your vitamins, say your prayers every day, and then he turned bad, which is just sad. not good and mm -hmm. sad, yeah. Hey, uh, look, I'm sure working in the industry for a while, you've made some good relationships. Who are some good, close relationships you have um, inside of the industry? Well, I have a lot of friends. I mean, everybody's very, very nice. And But my favorite are The New Day, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Biggie Langston. They got Ooh. some great moves. Oh, did they have a favorite move that you can show us right here? Well, they just got a lot of dance moves. Oh, let's see a dance move. You got one? No, but they just kind of okay, there we go. go with the music. That's, I can respect a man that don't like to dance, and, and that's okay. Hey, uh, do you, over the last, what, 17, you've got 17 championships under your belt, right? Uh, I have 16. 16. I thought you had number 17. No, I'm about to get number 17. About to get number 17. I saw that on the WrestleMania show the other day, which is pretty cool. Um, looking back over all the, the wrestlers you have wrestled, who would you say have been some of your favorite, most memorable um, wrestling matches you've had today? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You wrestled Dwayne The Rock Johnson? I sure did. Who won? Well, I mean, we both won one. It was two WrestleManias in a row. Okay. And if y'all wrestled tonight, who would win? Oh, me. Hands down? Obviously me. Excellent. Oh, yeah. And i uh, got another question. Um, if you could wrestle anybody throughout the entire time of your wrestling career, who would you wrestle tonight? Well, really anybody. I'd wrestle anybody because I'd beat them all. You'd beat them all. I'd beat them all. There you go. And the last question is from one of our uh, mad scientists named Marcus. Um, and he wants to know about the performance enhancing drugs. There's been some r rumors that all of this isn't real. Well, who said that? Well, I mean, Marcus did. Well, you think this? You think this is fake right here? You think I had drugs on that? Oh no, I'm coming to get you. Oh no, hey, don't do it. Don't, hey, uh, let's, let's let him go. Hey, calm down, calm down, we don't want anything. Thank you for checking us out. We'll talk to you later.